how many of you knew there were so many benefits of using this kind of testing? How many of you had any idea all the things you could do with it? So almost everything that we do involves grip of some sort, right? Low grip strength was shown consistently to be associated with a greater likelihood of premature mortality and the development of disability. They should be weaker here, stronger here, weaker, weaker, weaker. Interesting. You watched him. Would you say he was giving me full effort? You didn't think he was trying to fake it. This was his strongest, and then it got harder. And you saw all kinds of full effort behavior with him. You tried, he tried to put, change the position, he tried to turn his hand, he held his breath. That spine is a compound motion. It is essential to measure both ends of the spine simultaneously. That's the AMA guides criteria. That's why goniometers don't work for spine range of motion. I put the primary in between my thumb and my middle finger and my index finger is over the enter button, but my hand remains anchored to his head. So this is why range of motion with dual inclinometry actually is a standard of care because we want to you know what your net range of motion is and visually, you could only see his head. You really couldn't see what was going on here. What algometry does, it allows you to find the ceiling and the floor. Where is their tolerance and where is their threshold? For pain? The reason it's not an objective test until it's computerized, how are you gonna know how hard you pressed, how fast you applied the pressure? So you have what we call in the software a pacer. See, she's climbing right along that line. Pain management facilities, should be using them. This is their evidence. You can actually quantify it and actually market yourself to those clinicians. They don't even know algometry. How many of you know what the research says about the error rate with muscle testing with your hand versus an instrument that measures it? You can be 50% off. The two examiners agreed on the grade assigned only 28 to 47% of the time. You're looking at the region right now on the mannequin, so if I want to do a shoulder muscle test, I just click on the shoulder, and it'll give me a selection. Right side, red, one. So there's an 18% strength loss on your right side. Yeah, right left side. Oh, you left side, yeah. It's really important in this test that they understand everything about this test and lift. So we can also use that gauge for isometric push-pull. The gauge is meant to do anything statically. So you come in with scientific, published, researched, and you're going into somebody who wrote, ah, eh, the range of motion's within normal limits. Who do you think wins that case? Call it as you see it, don't play sides. If you do that, you'll get referrals from both. You'll get people who are the applicant side, people who are the defense side. You can work for insurance companies, and you can work as a patient advocate. Let the data fall where the data falls.